Cash Nation, welcome back to Brenda Reaction on the channel. Today we're checking out Blink Twice. A film directed and written by Zoe Kravitz, Sorry, Tay Tatum, a bunch of other people. Uh, I'll be honest with y'all. I am excited, but also cautious going into this film. And I'll be honest, it looks beautiful. It looks well acted. It looks like a great thriller involved. It has a pretty dark humor and apparently a trigger warning about sexual assault or people being tempered with, if you will. So I'm, um, I'm hoping for a solid seven or a six out of 10. I'm expecting it to have great jokes that will personally land for me. I'm expecting this film to basically have a lot of twists and turns, if you will. And I'm expecting good performances all around, okay? It's like, I'm hoping that the Bleak Twice will be like a nice little, okay, you know, on the nose kind of thing. Like, if you know, you know type deal. So basically, I was originally going to see this tomorrow with Papa Cash. I'm still seeing with him today because tomorrow is my only day out from Amazon. So I figured you know what i want to spend the whole day with gabby and watch this tonight with him instead we're watching a five o'clock showing digital um again Chaney tatum feels like he's making your return to acting it looks like i think he took a couple years off and stuff and now he's coming back he's done this he's done Deadpool wolverine and i think that him and uh so are dating real life i'm not mistaken so uh jared i think gave this one an eight and a half out of ten said it was a solid good film and he did say that basically that there was stuff implied about people being tampered with but nothing was shown if that makes sense so that's fine with me i could do that um um, I'm going to give y'all my prediction right now about the big twist in the film, which is I think that when the group of people, the guys and the girls, get to the island with uh, the CEO guy or whatever, Chang Tatum, I think that basically, I, again, don't know anything, just saying one night they're having dinner and they all basically have a good dinner. They're drinking all that crap. And they basically get roofied by Chain Tatum. And may I, again, putting it out there, maybe what it is, is that Chain Tatum or the guys basically tamper with the women. Don't know. That's my guess, okay? They, maybe it's called Blink Twice for a specific purpose. Maybe it has something to do with the twist. When it comes to moves with twists involved, I'm always intrigued because it's like, to me, if the twist makes sense, for me personally, it can enhance the film and make it better. It's like, okay, that works. That makes sense. I like it. And sometimes it's like, eh, nah, I'm good. Don't even feel like, like, the perfect example would be Long Legs. Long Legs has a twist. If you know, you know, right? And to me, it worked greatly. And, but for example, Cuckoo, it didn't work for me because i understood part of the twist but not the full twist if that makes sense i'm not gonna spoil either one of those films in case you haven't watched them yet but for me like i said this film we could be halfway through i could be given a six out of ten seven out of ten and then the twist happened it's like and eh, okay i understood it but i don't like it so therefore i'm gonna, I'm gonna lower the grade down a little bit you know so i'm heading right now let me tell you exactly good or bad this film is and of course whether or not you should spend your hard-earned money to watch this film in theaters okay y'all two seconds so we just saw blink twice yes how do you feel about it very solid movie yeah i really enjoyed it very gnarly very very dark oh yeah oh yeah it was very beautiful overall was shot very very well i was very impressed with Channing tatum's acting i was too along with the um the black female lead oh god she killed it absolutely and killed it story was very unique yes definitely don't sport for yourself no no it's worth coming blind at the theater stuff and seeing just because it's so unique and it's worth there's worth having the crowd around you also read this stuff too yeah yeah because there was plenty of crowd interactions where y'all said the same thing and what's like oh yeah oh crap laughing at certain moments and stuff i will say and i don't want to give it away by no means because i'm sure people are gonna ask well was the prediction i gave correct about a specific thing about if they when they get to island a specific thing happens and i'm not going to say anything other than if you want to find out the answer to that watch the film yes. so i can tell you watch the film i'm not going to definitely gonna... worth a lot yeah because it's like i will say this but it's a lot of partying involved i mean a lot a lot of right. partying involved but i like it how the reveal there's a couple of reveals in the film obviously the big one in the film it's like okay gotcha that's what's going on here but i like i loved how you don't it doesn't go where you think it's gonna go you know it's right. like right. it's like boom okay 
here we are. Here's what's going to happen. I was like, oh, okay, cool. It's a very slow burn. Kind oh, of God, yes. It's very slow burn. Because it's like once all the pieces of the puzzle are put together, if you will, it's like, all right, here we go. Now it's our right. rolling the camera. You know what I'm saying? I will say this much. The ending for me personally was weird. Yeah. It was very weird. And I, and I understand some of it, but it's like. Yeah, it was just like, it was really odd. Yeah. Could have gone a whole different but, route. But it wasn't what I was thinking about happening. No, no, no. You don't. You will not guess the ending of this film. I, I will give anyone credit that does. It's, it's like I said, unique, gnarly, dark, and stuff. There's, I don't know why there, there was a, supposed to be a warning before for, beginning of this film about. No, I, was, I, got, I got the warning. You did? In the beginning of the film? And there, there was a, supposed to be a disclaimer. I was told. I don't, I don't remember that. I remember, yeah, I don't, I remember you mentioning yeah, yeah, there, yeah, was yeah, a, yeah. there was a warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, trust me. Yeah, oh, yeah, trust yeah. Trust me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. So let's just briefly, without spoiling, talk about that. Again, if you are someone who has dealt with tampered with if you will because we can't say the word of course i would say this much it's not as bad as strange darling by any means it's something that's like the subject matter wise shown briefly to give a context or something to the film but it's not something that show constantly over and over Right, and it's off like like one one or two scenes. Like, yeah, it's really more implied than anything. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's like, like it's not. There's no nudity. No, involved. Mm, no. Like that. It's more. It's really implied. Yeah, like, yeah. You understand what's implied? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not something. It's like it's not shown a lot. It's not glorified by any means. There's no setup to it. Really, it's just. By the way, here's this little subject matter. We're not gonna talk about revealed to you. And then here's the aftermath of that. That makes sense. Right. But again. Film was shot well. It's I honestly enjoyed quite a bit of this. I would give this a solid seven out of ten. I give it an eight. 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 I would say easily, I mean, out of all three films we got to come out this weekend, easily this is the best one of all three. I mean, Crow was, I mean, he didn't watch Crow, not going to watch Crow, obviously. Strange Darling, he already put in his god-awful worst movie list. This is, this is a solid good film. This was a solid good film. This is a movie I would see again. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And, and I love it too. I want to touch about this real quickly, how there are small references made and questions asked that you get answers to. Yeah. Like in the Breaking Beacon film, a character says two words that you know about and it's like, okay who cares about that but it's actually oh okay that's what that means right you know what i'm saying like what's asked about a, a character's physique away like something happened to them okay that's enter as well great cool yeah. zoe kravitz has a great unique concept it won't work for everybody by no means it won't some people like i hate this movie by what for what it does but i understood it but again everything you get to film it's a slow bird it's all like build up build up build up execution you may like it you may not now let me ask this question because i'm sure if you want to know because this is a mystery film how much do you think from the first minute or so did you would you be able to predict from the first no, act none of it none of it none of it because um a lot of the stuff is not revealed yeah no it, it takes its time it's not within the first 30 first 40 not even the first hour it right. takes its sweet time but it's like it's, there's a lot of clues and hints i will tell you that much there's a, there's a there's a lot of world building going on yeah and there's a lot of team building so yeah to speak, going yeah, on. yeah 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 but that is needed yeah. for the final act yeah because you see people banging together yeah and have each other's back yes yeah. yeah i and really it appreciate makes that sense without this team building wouldn't happen yeah i have one issue that you know about and, right. that, and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna spoil them well, not really spoil. and i'm with you on that but that's why i'm not scoring it higher yeah yeah but overall very solid movie it's very dark mm -hmm. so we'll, okay we're, we're your con we've been praising this film the whole time what the cons we gotta give it because i have uh, one the, the kid, con were Isaac Gonzalez. Not, not, okay, so the Latino girl in the film, uh -huh. the main person in charge. And this this is a minor, if you will, spoiler, but all it is is the fact that she mentioned that she's a survival specialist. She's been in, in yeah. shows and stuff. And I just, the way she held herself in certain scenes, I was like, if you are a survivalist, you would know how to deal with the situation or how to navigate this. And her the act that she does, it's like, that doesn't make sense to me, right? It's like, if you're a pro boxer, you would know how to walk into a ring and hang yourself, and yet you're just sitting there doing all the wrong stuff, if that makes sense. And the third act, if that makes yeah. sense, like, you're doing A and B and C when you could be doing 
smarter stuff if that makes sense you know but yeah, again that's, that, that's true okay. and then there's a lot and i mean a lot of excessive partying in this film constant partying the whole well, time that's, that's, that's the team goes I, mean. I know i know it's just it's mostly the second act of the film it can get repetitive for some people so just be warned about that it's a lot smoking drinking all that type of stuff and for you yeah um for me the ending was yeah. really kind of his fracture yeah because <laughs> like because you saw like the first part of the ending and you thought okay this is going to happen yeah maybe this or that yeah yeah and then it goes to this and you're like what the does it make it, you know like i guess i have an idea and i'll explain to you more off camera but my main question if zoe kravitz was able to give this a sequel would you watch it yes yeah definitely yeah i'm looking forward to anything else she does in the future because this was very solid yeah i really liked it it was very like no idea what's going to happen next yeah because even seeing this movie at halfway point we're like what's going on yeah yeah what's yeah yeah on? yeah on? i had an idea i, I, I had, had an idea, idea yeah 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 because at first you thought it was this going on yeah yeah that was going on yeah yeah and then i was talking to him i think this was going on and okay this was going on but how does what does that really mean yeah 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 you know so you can't figure stuff out really yeah i will say too i like it how the camera was literally utilized so much this film like the one for the poster like it's utilized the whole time you see it so much and it plays a vital yeah. role yeah. in the ending yeah it does tremendous and also also to the small stuff plays a vital role yeah yeah also this where we shot it was beautiful oh god gorgeous the environment was very you know, encompassing and such. Yeah, I would let it go there. One of the things that was said in the first movie, mm. first character of the island, mm -hmm. very solid movie though. I will say not all characters are given depth, but that didn't really bother me too much because of who's given the spotlight and who doesn't, and it makes sense why they're not. Well, you can't get all the characters so yeah. much depth, you know? Yeah. You gotta focus on the, the main people. But Chain Chain them, great job character-wise. The black girl, again, I probably don't remember her name. Isaac Gonzalez, great as well. And overall, 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10, go watch theaters, Definitely. ASAP. Always like and subscribe for more reactions. Peace. Peace.